Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new to my channel, welcome. So happy to have you here. So today, I am doing a review of the Beachbody program Shift Shop. I completed Shift Shop about two weeks ago. Now, I want to just kind of like put this little explanation out there before I begin the review. Typically, I will finish a program and then I will film the review two or three days later. That way, everything is still really fresh on my mind and I don't leave anything out. But for those of you who don't know, who don't follow me on Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook, you might not know that my family, my community was in the direct path of Hurricane Irma. So we just got power back. Internet just came back about two days ago. Things have been really crazy. Today is the first day that the kids went back to school and I believe it's been like 14 days that they haven't been to school. So. You know, they're back at school, we're just now getting back into a routine, there are still businesses without power, there are still homes without power, so obviously like sitting down and filming a video two days after I completed the program, it just wasn't a priority. So I did take notes on my computer and I'm going to kind of be like looking at those and normally the review just comes very like off the cuff. It's whatever pops up in my brain at the time and I just talk about it the way I would to a friend. But I am going to kind of like take a look at my notes, kind of do it point by point. That way I can make sure that I don't miss anything or leave anything out. But if I do, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, I always do a blog post that accompanies these review videos and that blog post will break down like everything about pro about the program. So be on the lookout for that as well. Also, I guess it's, you know, it goes without saying, you can probably tell I did dye my hair. I'm starting to go blonder. We are in the process, but that is a thing. So if you think you're going crazy or your eyes are deceiving you, they are not. I did get my hair dyed, but let's let's move right into the video. So talking about my mindset going into shift shop, this is the first like super intense program I have done since the, the decline of my health, which I talked about last year in a video and I've talked about in subsequent videos, kind of updating you guys, letting you guys know. Eventually I found out that I had a gluten intolerance and that was really like, it was getting to me. I was really sick. Mentally it was a struggle and working out was the last thing I had on my mind. I could not be physically fit whatsoever without feeling like death, without feeling like I had to spend the rest of the day and the following day in bed. So I did do size during that time and I did the bombshell body guide, but I didn't really push myself with those programs and I also didn't like with the Bombshell Body Guide, I didn't follow it like to a T. I enjoyed it, it was what I needed at the time, but it wasn't like how I've done in the past and like I did with Shift Shop, where I really followed a program from start to finish, you know, did what I was supposed to do. I did not follow the meal plan. I didn't want to put that pressure on myself, and also I eat a plant-based diet, and that meal plan incorporates, you know, eggs and honey and meat and all that kind of stuff. But my mindset going into this program was kind of like, you know what, I'm going to do this program, I'm going to push myself, but I'm not going to feel pressure to like overexert myself. If I missed a day, I wasn't going to beat myself up about it. If I didn't finish, you know, one day from start to finish, I wasn't going to beat myself up about it. My mentality was I'm doing this to get back into a routine, get back into a healthy lifestyle, and get back to feeling good about myself. It wasn't about results before and after. It wasn't about any of that. It was solely about how I felt and being kind to my body and my mind. In terms of how I think it compares to programs that I've done in the past, I will say that I think it's pretty similar to the 21 Day Fix and that it, it incorporates a lot of like hit movements with weight training. So they are very, very similar in that they kind of, if I remember correctly, the 21 day fix has like a cardio day and then a weight day and then maybe a combined day. Um, so Shift Shop kind of did that too. It incorporates a lot of like agility workouts, a lot of like hit workouts with weight training. I would not say it's anywhere close to the intensity of insanity. And I always kind of like refer back to insanity because insanity 
still to this day, years and years and years later, is the most difficult program that I have ever done. I pushed myself harder than I've ever pushed in my life. It was when I was getting back into a routine of working out after having babies, so I was in you know, this different place mentally and physically. So when I did the video diary, I mentioned at one point of the video that I felt like I was complaining a lot. I felt like I was being very negative and just having a, a negative mindset and negative mentality and there was a reason for it and I wanted to discuss that more in depth in this video. So first things first, I really struggled for a while and on and off with the thought of you don't have to do this to the highest intensity. You don't have to be perfect with it. Because when I do a program, typically I'm going as hard as I can from start to finish because I wanna show people what is possible, what you are capable of, of achieving with this program. But like I said earlier, I wasn't in it for that, but it did keep kind of like popping up in my mind my mind so one day I would really really struggle and then I would beat myself up like why are you struggling so hard like just push yourself and get over it and, and motivate yourself and, and pump yourself up and I just had to keep reminding myself one you were sick for a week and a half of the program I was sick I had a cough I had a chest cold and two it was the first program you've done in a long time since getting back into the swing of things then this was probably the biggest reason that I had such a negative mindset towards this program and this is the reason that I don't know that I would actively recommend this program I just found myself so bored, like bored out of my mind. There is a reason why I really, really, really love programs, like so many of the programs that I've done I love, but I don't repeat those programs and it's because I get bored. I cannot have repetition. I need to constantly like have something new, not know what's coming up. I'm able to push harder if I don't know like what to expect. With Shift Shop, you have but it's broken up into three weeks and each week it gets progressively more difficult. So it starts out at 25 minutes, then goes up to 35 minutes, then goes up to 45 minutes. And how it works is on like Monday you will do um, like a shift cardio, I don't know what they're called, but you'll do like a cardio day where it's like pure cardio, agility, that kind of thing. And then on Tuesday you will do weights and it's more agility combined weight training. And then Wednesday you will do the same workout as Monday. Thursday, you'll do the same workout as Tuesday. Friday, the same as Wednesday. Saturday, the same as Thursday. You kind of get the gist. You do the same two workouts over and over and over again, and then you incorporate a day or two, I think it was, of ab training. That being said, I will tell you guys, I really enjoyed the program. I thought the trainer was great. I thought the exercises were great. I did moves that I've never done in any other program, moves that I've never even seen trainers have their clients do. These were all brand new to me, and I love that. It kept me on my toes at first. It was exciting. It was a new challenge for my body, but doing those same workouts over and over and over again, I was so bored. I lacked focus and that's all I'll say about it. I loved the program. I loved the trainer. I know that sounds like a contradiction, but I really actually enjoyed the workouts. I just didn't enjoy doing them repetitively. Then there is the concern of space. So Beachbody kind of like prides themselves on creating the best at home workout programs. And a lot of that is kind of the emphasis on, the emphasis of these programs is you can do this program anywhere. But I will tell you that is not the case with this program. I have a pretty decently sized home. It's definitely not small. It's an open floor plan. You guys have seen it in lots of videos with my workouts. And even with that, I struggled having space for a lot of these workouts. I couldn't do them to the proper form because I did not have the room. So then it became I was doing it improperly and then I felt like I could have hurt my back or my knees and I just started skipping that like that actual workout altogether because it wasn't worth it for me to do it and do it incorrectly. So if you do have a small space, this is not going to be the Beachbody program for you. Yes, there are things you can do to modify and at times I did modify, but it's just not the ideal program. There are definitely better programs that would work better for your situation. Speaking of modifications, I did do modifications because I have 
I believe it's the Bowflex. I have adjustable dumbbells and there were a lot of different kind of exercises where you would like put your hands on the dumbbells, have them on the ground, do push-ups. And in the beginning, like the first and second and third day, I did them, but I never did like the full 60 seconds or, ever, or however long they were because I started to feel like I was putting too much strain on my dumbbells. If you have regular dumbbells, just like a regular set of dumbbells, this will not be an issue. But for me personally, I modified during those exercises. So instead of doing the workout that they were showing on the screen, I would either try to do a workout that was as closely related to that workout as possible. For example, if there was something where you had to do burpees and you went to the ground with your dumbbells and then you did a push up and you jump back up and lifted them above your head, I would just stay standing, do a squat, and lift the dumbbells above my head. So that's just something to kind of think about if you don't want to put your weight on the dumbbells. It's either you have to think I'm going to be skipping a bunch of a bunch of exercises during this program where I'm gonna have to be motivated and creative enough to kind of come up with my own workouts during that time. And then lastly, I guess I will say in terms of results. So Shift Shop is the same link as the 21 Day Fix and the 21 Day Fix Extreme. And I don't know if it's just because of where I was at during this program, like how I was pushing myself or whatever, but I definitely had better results with the 21 day fix and 21 day fix extreme. And so to me, you know, that's not really necessarily a bad thing because like I said, I was doing this for like my inside and to feel good, but it is something worth noting that I did this program in the same time frame and I got better results with these other programs. Do I think you can get the same results? Probably if I would have really pushed myself and if I would have like upped my weight more than I did, maybe I could have gotten the same results. But I think if I remember correctly, the 21 day fix and the 21 day fix extreme, there was more variety, there's more workouts, and so I didn't get bored like I did with this program. For the most part, that's really all I have to say about this program. Like I said, I will do a blog post, so be on the lookout for that. I will link that down there whenever it is available. But as I mentioned before, if you have any questions about the program, please leave them down in the comments section below, and I will be happy to answer them, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!